Okay, so I haven't made a video in a really long time. Uh, but every day I get emails and messages from people asking me to please make more videos. They've helped to inspire people. They've helped people to inspire, inspire people to start painting, to, to start painting again, to start showing, to start taking their work seriously, to stop using it, um, treating it as a hobby, to go back to school. People have written to me about all kinds of things that these silly little videos that I've made have done. I've heard from people all over the world where they're being shown in middle schools, high schools, and colleges. I've heard from people with <laughs> they're using they're using these tools to help teach painting, to help teach English, which is kind of bizarre because I'm not the world's best speaker. I just happen to kind of spit out words that are associated with some language. But um, I'm, I'm deeply flattered by the emails and the messages that I get privately in YouTube, on Facebook. And I'm also deeply embarrassed because I don't, you know, consider myself all that eloquent or capable <laughs> of teaching anyone anything. But I, but I, I, I am touched. And uh, the messages that I get always come on the days when I'm feeling completely invis invisible, completely vulnerable, and completely alone. And I think everybody knows how that feels. <sighs> but I'll have, the, I'll have a day like that where it's like, why, why do I just keep getting up? Why do I keep trying? And then I'll hear from someone. I'll hear from someone I never, never would meet in my life who say, you know, your video helped me out of a funk. Your video helped me to become an artist. And that's, that's really kind of incredible. So here we are. We're going to try to make another video. And let me tell you what's happened since the last time I made one. The last time I made one, I was living in this really big mill, and I had a, a big loft, loft space, loft space, um, something very fancy and arty and very trendy. And now, because of things, you know, that I can't really talk about, I've moved out of there, and I'm living in and working in a very tiny apartment, very tiny. It's maybe 15, each room, there's three rooms, and they're maybe 15 by 15. So it's much different than like the 1,500 square foot uh, space I just moved out of, or the 650 sp uh, square foot space I had as a studio before that. Um, you know, I've had many, many places to work. I worked in my house on Cape Cod, which was a tiny cottage. I lived in a standalone, um, uh, a standalone cinder block building with no windows. That was phenomenal and phenomenally cold and then it filled with water and we moved. Um, I've worked in different apartments. I've had, I've had so many great adventures since I decided to give up what I knew in my life on Cape Cod, what I knew my whole life. I've lived in all kinds of crazy ass places and because of that and tried things I never would have tried before or had the courage to I guess um, but from that my artwork has evolved and evolved and evolved and evolved and evolved and I'm not sure it matters I'm not sure it really matters where I live or where I work I think the point is to just keep working, just keep producing work, keep producing work with intent. Work that has a meaning behind it and that the viewer can possibly feel and connect with. I'm fortunate where I hear it every day. I, I don't really know art. I don't know how to talk about art. This is what people will say to me. I don't know art. I don't know how to talk about art. And I don't normally care about art. 
but I feel your art. And that only happened once I left my comfort zone. I never thought leaving home, I would find, let me say, how do we put this? I never thought I'd find myself by leaving home, but I have, and I found myself in my artwork. I've been listening to a lot of Pink, the singer Pink, lately. And there's this one line in the song Glitter. And uh, I love this, and I may start to cry again. But she sings, Have you ever looked fear in the face and said, I just don't care? Have you ever looked fear in the face and said, I just don't care? I don't care. I did the made the biggest change possible. I left the place where I was born, I grew up, where my family had lived since the Pilgrims and our little Wampanoag roots started growing our family tree there. I left. It was the thing I was most afraid of. And now I'm painting images with intent that I didn't know I had. I'm using colors I didn't know I could use. I'm meeting all kinds of really inventive artists. I'm talking to people from around the world. People I will never meet, but people I never would have connected with. And none of it would have happened if I had stayed at home where it was safe. And this kind of comes up because I got an email, or I got a message on Facebook from someone the other day, who, one woman who is now fo having her work photographed, we talked about it endlessly. She's a wonderful painter, um, but she's been showing it like craft shows. So my suggestion was, I didn't know that. I figured she was in galleries. She's phenomenal. So now she's going to start applying to galleries. She's had her work photographed by a professional artist, and she's going to start applying. And I'm really glad I got to, I inspired her to do that. Someone inspired me to do it. I'm glad I could inspire her. She was afraid to do it. She's no longer afraid. She's looked at fear and said, I don't care. Um, I heard from somebody else who was afraid to use oils. But then she saw one of the videos where I said, you just wipe it off. There we go. I thought, for a long time I thought being an artist meant you had to have a loft. You had to have a big fancy studio. And now because my my life and my career have just gone pew 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 just all over the place and ping ponging. I'm not sure looking like an artist, having the space like an artist matters. It's the production. It always comes back to me just being able to produce. Produce clearly. The images, the feelings, the intentions, the ideas that I have, and the portfolios that I want to produce that inhabit or hold all the intent and the emotions that I have, everything that I want to convey. So I'm not sure the big fancy space is necessary. I've been embarrassed to do a video because I'm in a tiny apartment, but I realize I'm happy here. I'm happy. I'm safe. I'm producing. It's not as big as I want to, but I'm producing. And I'm evolving, and that's what's important. The evolution. Not giving up. Not giving up. Not giving up because of disappointment, or frustration, or no's, or fear. All right, I think my tea water is boiling, so I'm going to go make some tea and get back to work and think about the next video I'm going to make. Because I don't want to give up, and I 
want to keep encouraging other artists the way people have encouraged me. Ciao.